Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Some massive news for the Florida Gator fans coming from the transfer portal. It's former Arizona State wide receiver Elijah Badger committing to the Florida Gators. And I mean, for the Florida Gator fans who we've been chopping it up with the last couple of weeks in the comments section, this has been a guy that I think we've all been banging the table for now. I think he had to clear some of the medicals that we were concerned about. I think him committing to Florida certainly shows that he has cleared those. If you're a Florida Gator fan, I think you have to be fired up about this commitment. I think really two things. One, Elijah Badger, in my mind, was one of the better wide receivers that hit the transfer portal over the last couple of weeks. But I think more importantly, how he likes to operate as a wide receiver is a perfect fit in this Billy Napier offense, where we kind of talked about how Eugene Wilson was able to find so much success last year, getting the football after the catch, making people miss. You look at Elijah Badger, I mean, had over 700 receiving yards for Arizona State last year, 500 of which came after the catch. This was a guy that made 26 missed tackles forced last year, elite with the football in his hands, a guy that can win vertically if you want to ask him to do that, and a veteran wide receiver that we kind of said we would like to see Florida add in the portal. I mean, we said Kermani McLean was a good fit. I think Elijah Badger is a really good fit for the Florida Gators as well. I want to get into Elijah Badger, talk about how he fits into the offense before we do, and as always, just want to say thank you to you guys, to the Florida Gator fans. I know I'm not in my, my normal spot. We're still talking Florida Gators football. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. The amount of support you guys have shown – Truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, let's get into Elijah Badger. Now, I want to just start with, I mean, I'm a massive fan of Elijah Badger. You go back to his last couple of years at Arizona State, he was the offense. Like He was the guy that if good things were happening to Arizona State, which was not often the last couple of years, you know, the football was probably in Elijah Badger's hands. There's a lot of different ways that you can get him involved. He had over 98 targets last year. That was double any other Arizona State wide receiver last year. That kind of tells you how good they thought Elijah Badger was in terms of where you're going to force feed him touches, targets. And now he comes to Florida. And, you know, I think kind of just gets to, you know, formulate what I think is going to be one of the more underrated wide receiver duos in the country with Eugene Wilson and now Elijah Badger. I mean, he had a lot of success going and getting Ricky Pierce off, bringing him into Florida. I think you kind of opened it for the same thing with Elijah Badger, who, you know, I think is a thousand yard receiver. If he's not playing on that Arizona state offense with that terrible offense and you look at Graham Mertz, what does he do? Well, I mean, being very good with his ball placement, giving his wide receivers opportunities to really operate after the catch, I kind of pull up this Florida Gators depth chart and, you know, you quickly get into it and say, it sounds like the starting three for the Florida Gators is going to be Eugene, Chamir DK, and now Elijah Badger. And you have two guys in Eugene Wilson and Elijah Badger who are really good after the catch, really good with the football in their hands. And then you have a guy in Chamir DK who – is really good vertically. I mean, this is a guy that's not going to be a top 100 pick in the NFL draft, but, I mean, has averaged almost 16 yards per completion um, during his time at Wisconsin, has a really strong chemistry with Graham Mertz from his time at Wisconsin. You have a guy that can work vertically down the field, earn the respect to safeties. You have two wide receivers in Elijah Badger and Eugene Wilson that can really operate after the catch, and then we're just kind of sprinkling in Adam Mazzell, Khalil Jackson, who I know a lot of you guys are fans with. Marcus Burke, Andy Jean, maybe even Jare Hawkins, Tank Hawkins, they like to call him. I look at this Florida Gators wide receiver room and say, we came out of spring saying we got one of the better quarterbacks in the SEC. He looks really good. I think we improved their offensive line. What's the last kind of missing piece? We want to make the wide receiver room a little bit better. Want to get one more difference maker in the wide receiver room. I, you know, a healthy Elijah Badger, I think that gets it done for Billy Napier and the Florida Gators. We'll cut it at that. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. Again, if y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll talk to y'all later.